In the name of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakaha Kadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. On the entertainment scene in the world today, in, re in, re in regards to movies, you have a popular movie out called Mortal Kombat. It's a very popular movie and a, and a very popular franchise in the entertainment world. You see, this wicked nation in Hollywood has been putting out movies about going to war with the Lord in so many behind hidden titles and hidden names, code words and code names. You got War of the Worlds which is really talking about the Lord returning and, and the and the kingdom of Esau going to going to war with the Lord and his hope and his holy host of angels. And other movies, you know, Independence Day, things like that, are cold words for what is really gonna happen in the future. About going to war, going to come back with the Lord and his holy host of, of, of angels, armies. So now today in the year 2021, you have a movie called Mortal Comeback. But you can flip that and say <clears throat> spiritual comeback versus mortal carnal comeback. It's going to be a war. It's going to happen between the wicked nation of Esau, Edom, and the Lord and his, and his armies when he returned. But his holy elect According to Luke, not according to Luke, Tim chapter nineteen verse, his elect is going to be, going to be given power. Let's get that. Luke Tim chapter nineteen verse. This is Yahweh Shah speaking. Behold, I give unto you power to to thread on serpents and scorpions. That's symbolic language for nations and wicked people, and over all the power of the enemy. The Lord's enemy is Esau Edom. And his and his um people that follow Esau Edom, the wicked and the heathens. And the Lord goes over here. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. So the Lord is put is putting out this 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 vibe in the na in the world. This vibe, this spirit of truth to come back into the, the man, the elect that he chose since the foundation of the planet Earth. Those men are being risen up today. His elect is being risen up today by way of this truth, this 100% truth of the Bible. And that is spiritual comeback on the highest level also. Spiritual comeback versus mortal carnal comeback. We fight, the, the hopeful elect men fight this war through the spirit and through spiritual understanding of the scriptures. That is the weapon of the holy, hopeful elect, of the elect. Spiritual, spiritual warfare on the highest level. It's not a, it's not a, a, a war of weapons, carnal weapons. It's a war of spiritual. It's a war of spiritual. It's a spiritual war on the highest level. And according to Luke 10, chapter 19, verse, the Lord is going to give his hopeful elect men spiritual power, which is the highest level of power you can receive. You're going to get that. And what you're going to do with that spiritual power. Let's get that. Behold, I give unto you spiritual power to do what? To thread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. See all the all the armies, <clears throat> all the military forces that the wicked nation of Esau Edom has. The Lord is gonna give his holy elect men spiritual power over all the power of the enemy, his enemy. Let's look at that word thread. Let's get that. T R E A D thread.
It's a lot. There's three. Another word for trample, which means to violently crush, step on, tread. Mm. The Lord is very descriptive with. It. See, when you when you meditate on the word, it gives you a vivid understanding of how it's gonna play out. Tread, power to. I, I was saying it wrong. Power to tread over all the power of the enemy, and the scorpions and the serpents, which is symbolic for the wicked nations, and and the heathens. All of that is included in that. Serpents and the scorpions. To see this, the understanding of this word is so beautiful when you think about it. Sometimes I get emotional because faith is a gift. And when you meditate on the, on the word, it gives you a vivid picture. And that's the Lord working through the spirit. It's that simple. So you got what's happening today. You got spiritual warfare on the highest level. You got the men on the street corners and on the internet, YouTube, preaching the word. And that word is going to war with the, with the uh, deceptive doctrine. Doc, mm, that spiritual understanding of the word that's coming from the hopeful men is going to war. With the deceptive evil doctrine of today that's out in the world. You got billions of people that worship the J word. Some people say Jesus, but it, it Jesus. People use they say it, they say it, but it's done through ignorance. And that's a deceptive evil doctrine. But the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord is in the world today, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And that is the that's the highest, that's the most, that's the highest weapon you can use. To go to spiritual warfare with with the, with the, with the devil, with Esau, Edom, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, all powerful name. That is spiritual combat versus mortal carnal combat. See, with this understanding, you can flip what the devil comes out with, and you can flip it for your benefit to preaching the word. You can give it a deeper understanding. Mortal combat is spiritual combat. Is what is what's happening today, and the Lord is gonna be the winner. He's already declared victory. Victory is already declared. It's, it's a guarantee. Victory is is imminent. Victory is, is a guarantee. Spiritual comeback versus mortal carnal comeback. Hmm. I pray the lesson be edifying to the hopeful, letting those seeking the truth. Shalom. One.